There are more things crinkling behind me, and it's concerning. Is I... your house falling? Yes. No, I put <laughs> I I put stuff on top of other things to cover the trash in my room. I worked well. The trash is taken on. It's got a the... mind of its own. It absolutely does. I hope that stops the crinkling. All right, so these are everyone that's here. These are our contestants. Uh, very excited to see them. But what I'm going to do now, we're going to start. So let me just uh, make sure that everything works. That's probably a good idea. Uh, first things first, can everyone hear if I hit this button? Did everyone hear that fancy sound effect? No, I did that. Huh. I heard, awesome. I physically hit the oh, I see what's going on here. See, look at this. Watch this. Can everyone now hear this epic game show music in the background? Frankly. Hey. You don't have to hear it. They need to hear it. Okay. You just need to have a, an, a, an, an inkling that, it's, it, that it exists. Um, and that it ends very abruptly. Cool. All right. So that's all good to go. Does anyone have any final questions? Okay. Yeah, it's nice to, to be asked, do you understand what you're about to do in front of the people you're about to do it for? Anyway, um, I'm going to put this on speaker view. So now it's just me. And I'm going to start this episode in five seconds. So it's, I'm going to count down myself. I'm going to read the intro. I'm going to hit all the buttons. This will be fun. Break a leg, everyone. In five, four, three. Today, I've got four players who will have a chance to win actual cash money, as long as they can keep up with each other and my wild whims and whimsies. Let's see if they can pass the buck. I'm Coriana Tato, and it's time to pop off. And just like every good episode of Pop Off, I forgot to put the graphics in. So, <laughs> this, this is what's point, called a live a taping. I know. Let's try this again, shall we? It was so nice the first time. Um, so, let's reset. See the kind of professionalism that I should have been striving for this whole time. I want this camera. Okay. One more check. It's. It's Friday. No, it's Saturday. I, I'm getting yeah. nothing right. All right, let me just make sure <laughs> we're all set here. Oh. Okay, we're all set now. Let's try this again. Trying again in five, four, three, two. Good day. I've got four players who will have a chance to win actual cash money, as long as they can keep up with each other and my wild whims and whimsies. Let's see if they can pass the buck. I'm Coriana Tato, and it's time to pop off. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of pop off and it's our season finale holy smokes we've done a whole season of this they haven't told us to leave i think this is a win all around uh we're really excited to have some really great people playing but more importantly we're excited to have a judge our normal judge can't carry in sadly she could not be here tonight she is not feeling well but we have someone in her stead who is loosely associated with everything I do at least. Uh, she's uh, she does a bunch of improv here at High Wire Improv, and she is also the co-host of Teach Me Something Good with Corey and Katie. I don't know who Corey is, but here's Katie, Katie. Overby. Oh, hello! I'm so excited. How are you this evening? I'm fine. You know, I think that that's the bar that we've set. For 2021. I truly cannot expect you to be anything better than fine. <laughs> it, it would it would be rude to do so, At this in my point, opinion. You know, yeah. It we're 16 days into this year. So you know. Let's let's pretend it never happened. Anyway, 
Thank you, Katie. Are you ready to be guest judge? I am. I'm so excited. Okay, fantastic. Well, we will touch base with you. You are going to be the arbiter of truth tonight. If someone gives an answer that I am not that sure about, you are going to be my surety, as it will. You're going to be the one to check our sanity and make sure that people are giving me the what for. Thank you very much. Okay, here's how the game works. Uh, each round has a question. I'm going to pose the question to all of the players who are playing. All they have to do is give me an answer that fits the category. Uh, if they give an answer that doesn't seem like it fits the category, I'm going to ask them to explain themselves so they can give the opportunity, they'll have the opportunity to, you know, justify their nonsense. Uh, if I'm happy with the justification, or if they give a completely valid correct answer, we put 25 cents into this dollar bank. Hey, I almost got it on the money this time. Go me. It's only been three months. I should know where the fucking dollar is. Uh, so a dollar's in the bank right now. Uh, 25 cents for every correct answer. If you give an answer that is invalid, you'll be put under pressure, and the next player in line can pop you off with a final correct answer. The last player who remains standing will move on to the pressure cooker round. Will they have a chance to win $50 in cold, hard cash? We're going to start with round one, and we're going to meet our contestants as we play the game. So let's play Pop Off. Nope. <laughs> one day I will know how any of the buttons work. Let's play Pop Off. This is round one, and we are going to start uh, round one with a question. And the question for everyone playing is as follows. Think of this, comedians. Name the saddest way. There you go. Name the saddest way to lose your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh, we're going to start with uh, comedian Violet Gray. Good evening, Violet. Hello, how are you doing? Ooh, that's a loaded question. Uh, do you want the polite answer or the honest answer? I probably know the honest answer because it's probably true of me also, so. Sure. The honest answer is... <sighs> Yeah, that about sums it up. The polite answer is, you know, <laughs> a couple extra pleasantries. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Violet. So I am a stand-up comic who occasionally does improv, who also sometimes uh, randomly freestyle raps on live on Facebook, having people give me inputs in real time as I do so. Awesome. And I'm also part of an all stand-up comics Dungeons and Dragons podcast. What? And That's amazing. Yeah. That's so cool. Well, thank you for uh, being here tonight. Mm -hmm. Name the saddest way to lose your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, uh, I would say that the saddest way to lose your peanut butter and jelly sandwich is having reached out with it and having your lover grab the other half of it but it tears in half and she falls off the skyscraper <laughs> wow holy wow. shit that took a dark turn um Setting the bar for 25 high. cents that is correct yes you're absolutely <laughs> i don't i can't say no to that you're absolutely right uh thank you very much violet for setting the bar there Jesus. <laughs> all right um we move now to uh, Murray, Murray Valeriano. Am I saying your last name right? Yes, sir. Thank you. I never get to ask a white guy if I'm saying his name right. That's nice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Murray, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm a stand-up comic and writer. Um, that's about it. I host the uh, Road Stories podcast on all things comedy. You can check that out. And uh, I've been showing up uh, writing some stuff for the Wall Street Journal lately. Ooh, do you have a fancy woodcut? of yourself oh i don't know what that is yeah, the little like fancy picture next to important people when they oh no the i yeah. don't in the, in the what no, we're just going over yeah. that. i do not hopefully 2021 yeah high hopes high hopes Absolutely. for you mary well thank you for being here name the saddest way to lose your peanut butter and jelly sandwich um in a hostile divorce <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That is correct. Well done. 
Uh, we put 25 cents in the bank. The bank is at $1.50. And poof. when I ask four comedians to do the saddest way to do something, they really, really pay off. Uh, our next contestant. So full of sadness. Just so full of sadness. The next contestant in line. Uh, let us introduce, and I have it written down because I wanted to be very precise. Actor, comedian, writer, and TikTok star with parentheses, LOL. Uh, which is not true because you have millions more of anything on TikTok than me. But no one wants to see hot game show opinions on TikTok. So we'll leave it there. It's Rivka Reyes. Good evening. Oh, hi. How are, look at your room. Shut up. What? That's oh my awesome. God, stop. It's where it's so I pretty. live. I love it. Uh, welcome. Thank uh, you. What's up? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> cool. We're in a pandal say. It's going great. Awesome. Uh, tell us, tell tell people what you do. Um, oh. I read tarot. Um, I'm an actor. Mm. I am a mother of plants. And yeah, I just am so stoked to be here. Um, I'm also a writer, musician, poet, mm -hmm. priestess. A multi-hyphenate. A multi hyphen. <laughs> what's what's the one what's the one skill that you don't have that you want to have in 2021? Oh, driving. I don't know how to driving. drive. I can teach you how to drive if you can teach me how to do tarot. I don't know how to do it virtually through Zoom, but we can work that out. Yeah, yeah. Virtual driver's ed. Sounds great. Yeah, no, what could go wrong? Uh officer, no, a licensed driver is here in the car. He's on Zoom. So <laughs> Uh, Rivka, name the saddest way to lose your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Your seventh grade bully throws it into the sandbox and then a bunch of ants and spiders crawl all over it, rendering it eatingless. That sounds way too personal to have been made <laughs> up or inspired by something other than reality. No, it's fiction. I'm a writer. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. That is a correct answer. Uh, there's a, a dollar seventy-five in the bank, and we move on to our final contestant for the uh, intro evening. I don't know. I'll record all of this in post again. Uh, let's welcome to our show comedian Christian Finnegan. Good evening, Christian. Hello, Corey. It's is a, a truly a pleasure and an honor to be here tonight. Uh, By the way, I wanted to compliment your your intro. Uh, has some big time '90s VH1 fashion rocks vibes. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I I take a lot of inspiration from uh, presentations that happened 15 to 25 years ago because I now have the technical ability to recreate them. So mm -hmm. yep. that I th I think that's um, I think that's part of why nostalgia is great. Because it's not a matter of people are reminiscing about, oh, these were so much better. It's we can do it now. That's all nostalgia is. It's just people who were broke finding money. Anyway, <laughs> I'm ranting. Tell us about yourself, Christian. Um, I am a nascent comedian. Uh, I, I Nascent? I've never really know how to pronounce that word properly. Uh, I am a comedian and uh, that's pretty much it really I don't yeah, nothing I don't really do much uh, it, I'm, it's how we managed to get you here yeah yeah I, I <laughs> do stuff things around the house for my wife do you, occasionally do you, um, do you cook oh god no absolutely not no, not, no not I, I I I've lived in in New York uh, oh city, okay since I was 18 and so I I don't, don't like cook. cooking in any context um i like ordering and yep. then eating those are cooking not so much it's, that's but. the biggest mood that's probably going to be a clip later anyway <laughs> i like i like ordering and eating 2021 yeah. all right uh christian name the saddest yes. way to lose your peanut butter and jelly sandwich okay so you're at your daughter's funeral and <laughs> uh <laughs> That's and it. <laughs> everyone no, no. Is Go on. gathered around the coffin and uh, they're all putting in little keepsakes into the <laughs> coffin that remind them of her. Uh, someone puts, uh, you know, maybe an old mix CD that she made <laughs> in like 2003. Um, 
maybe somebody else puts in like a, a childhood doll and then you realize it's getting around you and you're like oh god i totally forgot to do this um i forgot i should have been thinking about something poignant but you know it's your daughter you're obviously preoccupied with other things course, luckily yeah. you do have a snack for later okay <laughs> um and so you tearfully uh, remove the peanut butter and jelly sandwich from your blazer inside pocket. And you then have to kind of fake a story about how peanut butter and jelly was so meaningful to her. And uh, you, you, you're you reasonably sure that you have pulled it off, um, but you're never truly sure. And uh, one of your other children is looking at you suspiciously. And so that is a, a moment of sadness that, that lasts then for the rest of your life. It'd be hilarious if I said you were wrong. Uh, I mean, it is wrong, anyways. That would have been that would have been the that would have been the funny. No, you're. I have nothing else to say that is either relevant or true. Uh Jesus Christ! <laughs> what a way to go out. All right. Uh, yeah. So we've gone through one round. Everyone has given uh, a range of answers that range from correct to beyond reproach. So we're gonna keep going. Uh, if you give a duplicate answer, or if you give an answer that is logically uh, untenable, you may be asked to explain yourself, or you might be put under pressure. Watch yourselves. Uh, Violet, we're back to you. There's $2 in the bank. Name the saddest way to lose your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. The saddest way to lose your peanut butter and jelly sandwich is to make it and then find out that it's sentient and it cares about you. And then one day, burglars break in, they pick it up, they eat it, and you have to listen to it scream that it loves you as it's distracting oh, no. you as you escape to safety. Wow. Oh. That is truly you, sad. You just, you just crafted it from love. And <laughs> not only do you have to deal with the trauma of breaking and... and oh. I'm sad, but you're right. Okay. More hard seltzer to wash the pain away. There's your ASMR for the night. Murray. Yes. Name the saddest way to lose your PB&J. All right. It's the evening. You're double fisting because they're PB&Js and they fucking rule. Fuck yeah. You're watching old Mad Men reruns on sure. Netflix. You're in season okay. seven. You realize that the light from your ceiling is reflecting on your TV screen and you can't see mm -hmm. it. So you reach with your left hand holding the left PBJ over to turn off the light and you accidentally stick your hand in a fan. Ooh, Pop shit. your fingers off and send your uh, PBJ to the floor. Double fisting, PBJ, fan. You know, uh, first, correct. Second, I certainly did not make the boxes on my car big enough to leave all of your excuses. Uh, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Double fisting, fan, decapitation of hand, fingers. Got it. Okay. There's 250 in the bank, and I am emotionally and physically drained. <laughs> Rivka, it's now your turn again. Name the saddest way to lose your PB&J. So you and your long-distance lover. <laughs> it's like PB&J is your thing. That's like your <laughs> thing. You know how some people have like, oh, this is our song. Oh, that's right, our right. movie. PB&J sandwiches are absolutely your thing. Um, your long lost, long distance lover ships you a PB&J in the mail right before they actually <laughs> forgot to say they're shipping off to the military tomorrow oh God. where they don't have PB or J. And um, oh no, <laughs> it gets lost in the mail. It gets oh. lost in the mail. Oh God. <laughs> That is hitting too close to home. I don't. Okay, so uh, <laughs> a APO PB and J mishap. <sighs> Got it. Uh, oh God. They don't have PB or J. Oh, that's so J. sad. It's so sad. <laughs> you expect most places to have PB or J. <laughs> this is oh, what a way. I. I didn't think this would wreck me this bad. I'm way howdy. Uh, Christian, 275 in the bank. Name the saddest way to lose your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. All right. So it's three years after, after the death of your daughter. 
right, and for right, some right. reason, you have uh, taken to constantly making yourself peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, uh, almost like a self-cutting thing, um, kind of like a coping mechanism as a way to sort of wallow in your shame. Uh, you have taken to uh, making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and they've begun to pile up. In fact, um, your your living children are all very concerned about you. Um, they're starting to use words like hoarder. Um, and, uh, but you can't see it because what you see this as like, I have, uh, why should I have a, a, a clean counter space when I... I, you know, I, I've been a bad person and therefore I, I, I'm piling up uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches as a form of penance. And so you don't see that it's, it's, it's way past normal at this point. And you have entire rooms that are devoted to uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And uh, one day uh, your, your, your son um, lures you out of your uh, one bedroom apartment in Lowell, Massachusetts. Where you, um <laughs> To coincidentally, my father lives in a one bedroom apartment in Lowell, Massachusetts. Don't read into that. Uh, uh, you are lured out of your apartment um, with the uh, the because uh, there's a big peanut butter and jelly convention in uh, that, yes. that day, yes. and so you're lured to the the Lowell, Massachusetts Civic Center for the peanut butter and jelly convention. And you get there, and you're mm -hmm. like, "Where is everybody?" And all it is is all of your family who are the, gathered for an intervention um, to try uh -huh. to tell you how bad things have gotten. And you say, screw you, I don't need any of you. And you run back to your apartment. And while you were gone, they have cleared out all of your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And so you are left alone, truly for the first time in years. Woo! Correct, 25 cents. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little long there. Uh, I, I wrote down, Peanut butter and jelly as self harm. That's what I've written <laughs> in the little box. I mean, it that that's only the that's only the the blurb. I think the the rights to that story on Netflix is now owned by High Wire Improv. So thank you. Yeah. Uh, Hold on, what Christ. did we sign? <laughs> <laughs> um, it, only PB and J related uh, stories. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even know. I've I've ascended to a different plane of existence at this point. I you know the, you didn't tell me I was going to be emotionally destroyed. Um, didn't didn't you know? think it would happen. Okay. <laughs> Round one is supposed to be the light and fluffy one. So, Violet, there's three dollars in the bank so far. Three dollars, might I say, very well earned. Name the saddest way to lose your PB and J. The saddest way to lose your PB&J. Imagine a man who lost his job and his last living relative mm -hmm. in the same day. It's a sad he day. comes home to find out that his puppy has died from a previously undiagnosed illness. He oh, decides no. to end it all. He goes oh. to the window, jumps out of the window of his building. He oh misses you when he hits the ground, but he does get your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> snags it on the way down. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, if you're walking by in just the slightest little brush of someone's wailing arm as they approach a sidewalk at terminal velocity can really fuck up a sandwich. Correct answer. 325 in the bank. Murray, saddest way to lose your PB&J. <sighs> Your PB and J gets diagnosed with Alzheimer's. <laughs> um, so technically, because it's sentient, we know. <laughs> technically, you don't lose it; it loses you. Oh, God. Ouch. Yeah. He said... <laughs> That's lovely. Oh, 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 oh man. <clears throat> um. That sound means that we need a little bit of extra information. <laughs> Katie, will you, as judge, will you accept you don't lose the sandwich, it loses you from Alzheimer's? <laughs> I can't, yeah, I will, absolutely. I, yeah, I can't not. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> okay, well done, Murray. You survived being under pressure. 
Oh my god. Uh, now that we've established that peanut butter and jellies can be sentient, like everything's on the table. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is the weirdest card of answers I've ever written down. <laughs> Suicide, Alzheimer's, self harm. It's a light it's a light comedy show, guys. Light comedy <laughs> show. Uh Rivka, three dollars fifty cents in the bank. What can you add to make this blood money jackpot grow? So you're a boy wizard, an orphan. <laughs> okay boy wizard and um the one family member you have is actually your godfather and you've followed him into this dark place and there's this veil and anything that goes beyond the veil gets lost and um you're watching your godfather be blasted beyond this veil and you trip over your feet Mm -hmm. and out of your pocket flies your PB and J into the veil oh. it goes, disappearing along with your godfather. Dead. <laughs> I like how the common theme of this round is someone's going to die and take your sandwich with you. <laughs> You're gonna watch we're gonna watch for those. Oh fuck. Uh Christian. Oh. To put um, another, uh, to put 25 cents into the bank. <laughs> okay. Um, the saddest way to lose your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mine is a, a paraphrasing of a very famous short story. And it goes <laughs> a little like this. For sale, peanut butter and jelly, barely eaten. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> baby like, shoes, never worn. Yeah, no, uh, no, no, no. We're... <laughs> We're, we're okay. there. No, okay. So the year is 2032. And you are at a yard sale. Although there aren't yards in 2032 because everyone, uh, the, after the global, global uh, environmental catastrophe, there are no more yards. Um, everything is cemented over. But you go to your, uh, there's a quadrant in your neighborhood that is having a, a, a quote unquote yard sale. And then on the table, there's a, a what looks just like a piece of brick and it has a sign that says PB and J barely eaten. And you see it and you instinctively just like, kind of like uh, the critic at the end of Ratatouille, like you go into like a memory hole yeah, all of a sudden. Right. And you have this memory of, Oh my God. Uh, I remember eating this peanut butter and jelly sandwich uh, alongside my friend who passed away and uh, when I was a little child and my, my friend Sally uh, passed away and we used to love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And now I'm, I'm having this just like incredible, like, oh, my God, I, I can't believe it. And by the time I wake up from my, you know, uh, stupor, um, yeah. I look down and someone else has purchased the peanut butter and jelly sandwich and they've already gotten in their car and left. Wow. Didn't say that one was a winner. <laughs> no. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this to Katie. Katie <clears throat> question is name the saddest way to lose your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. If it's on offer at a yard sale, is it yours? Uh, on a technicality, I would say no. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Alright, I didn't realize didn't realize uh yeah, the pullet burrow. Um, <laughs> we're, we're, we're nothing if not a very meticulous game here. So, uh, Christian, we have deemed that the scenario you have so richly painted for us. It was mine up here. It, 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 I felt it. It was, it was almost good, but we found, we found the, uh, the flaw in the armor. Violet, here's how this works. There's $3.75 in the bank. If you can give me one more valid answer... You will pop Christian off and we'll be one step closer to crowning a pop off champion. So, Violet, for $3.75 to move on to the next round without Christian, mm. name the saddest way to lose your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. The only person in your neighborhood to treat you with any love and kindness is your elderly next door neighbor. You come back from college to find out she has a degenerative disease that slowly takes away each of her five senses. She can't see, she can't hear, she can't touch. The only thing left to her is taste. 
you were going to eat your peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but as she's dying, you give her her last bit of comfort and feed her the peanut butter gel and jelly sandwich in her final hour. Hmm. I'm Katie. allowed to protest here. <clears throat> wow. I, I will. I will reserve your protest for my protest first and foremost. Oh, Katie. <clears throat> now, I would dare say that while this is a sad scenario. I think giving a woman who has lost most of her contact with the outside world, except for the ability to taste, to give her one of the most classically pleasing tastes as potentially her last thing, I feel like that's not that sad. Um, you know, I actually think it's pretty sad, but I don't think it counts as losing. Mm. You don't think it counts as losing? Because, you, I mean... Because when I hear, like, lost, I generally, you don't know, it, it, it was removed from your possession without your intent. Like, I don't like, okay. I don't like give my friend a beer and be like, I lost my beer, right? That's a very good call. I... Yeah, I'm g Violet. I'm gonna have to put you under pressure as well. Uh oh. <laughs> because you're right. Giving someone <laughs> something is not losing it. Murray, this is a rare position for us uh, to what, be in. Pop off. What kind of pressure am I on under here? Am I am I trying to keep two people on? Am I trying to so keep two what, people off? What's going? I like you, both of them. You, Do I pick a side? So here's how this works. If you give me one final correct answer then both christian and violet will be popped off oh. and you and rivka will go to the final round gosh so it's okay. on you okay. name the saddest way to lose your peanut butter and jelly sandwich it's march 24th 1989 <laughs> You're on vacation in Alaska. Okay. You've packed your favorite PBJ, Trader Joe's peanut butter, Schmucker's grape on Ezekiel bread. You go to the beach to watch the sunset. The Exxon Valdez comes <laughs> barreling <laughs> towards you, hits the rock, blows oil all over you, all over your sandwich and it washes out into the ocean with the dead birds. Wow. <laughs> Katie, because we are under pressure, uh, I have no complaints to lodge. Trader Joe's was founded in 1958. Ezekiel Bread was founded in the late 80s. So I think we're okay timeline-wise. Holy shit, you're really fact-checking this. <laughs> Look, it's my money. Okay, I'm not okay. going to give it to any of you without a goddamn fight. I hope I got um, the fucking date of the uh, uh, Valdez yeah, right then. Yeah, it was Valdez in 89. Siri, when did the Exxon Valdez crash? This is truly tense. One moment. It would be hilarious if she didn't know. We'll cut all that out. Can we put in post her <laughs> saying whatever it is? Uh, Duly noted, I looked editors. it up. I was faster than Siri, but yes. I don't want to ruin the tension. Go right ahead, please. Ruin the <laughs> you were right. Spot on a day in the year. <laughs> okay. Well, with all of that in mind, I'm going to say, Murray Valeriano, congratulations. Violet, Christian, I apologize. Oh. You have both been popped off. Well, wow. I don't enjoy this win at all. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I want him to stay. I know. <laughs> They'll be it back. Makes, yeah, if it makes you feel better, we won't remove them from the Zoom room. Yeah. Okay, they good. can stay here. You can. Oh no, they lost. They should go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't feel it's, good about it. It's not the weakest link. They don't just get <laughs> fucked if they lose. No, it's fine. Uh, I just, I'm just a, you know, I don't, I don't usually bring out the memory of my dead daughter for nothing. <laughs> <laughs>
No, but you did bring it out for 25 cents. So... <laughs> Twice. Twice. <laughs> yeah. A cool half dollar. All right. Um, I mean, Violet, Christian, we will we will talk to you a little bit later. But for right now, we have to go uh, to the final round, really. Uh, yeah, Rivka, you, you managed to squeak by. And uh, now the pressure is on because we move on to the final round of play. And we start this round with Rivka because you're next to standing. Uh, here's how, I mean, this round is awfully the same. It's just a different question. 25 cents for every correct answer. Uh, and we will keep going until one of you, uh, like, mind fucks our logic a little bit. And then we yell at you. And then last one standing goes to the pressure cooker round. So... Rivka, we start with you. Are you nervous? You look nervous. Yeah. You you do realize we're playing for three dollars and seventy five cents. Listen, I live in L.A. This rent is not cute. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. But really, three dollars seventy five cents in the bucket. That's what like a forty five seconds of rent in L.A. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, it's also I hope half I could... of a coffee. <laughs> oh God. Yikes. I'll send you some beans um here, no problem <laughs> yeah every contestant appearing at pop off will receive a bag of beans i found at the grocery store is it coffee is it lima who knows beans um <clears throat> <laughs> here's here's the question for round two uh rivka for 25 cents it's 90 degrees outside and you're too sweaty what are some cold thoughts that might cool you down I grew up in Chicago and spent 25 winters there. Period. That's nice. Oh, <laughs> oh that, okay. So, <laughs> I mean, that's a very nice thought. So you're saying Chicago winters? Chicago winters. How brutal do they get? Um, Below zero most of the time. Oh. And then it's slushy too because the snow is, is wet snow. Mm. Not the fluffy, nice kind. So Least it's like an ice and your boogers get like icicly. It's mm. not fun. That that seems to track. Correct. I have Murray? goosebumps just thinking about it. Ooh. See, look. Oh, look, it's already working. Yes. Uh, it's 90 degrees outside, Murray. You're too sweaty. Uh, what are some cold thoughts that might cool you down? My ex-girlfriend's heart. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. I should have had... <laughs> A little card that would say someone's going to say an ex's heart, but I love it uh, because it's true, especially you, Suzanne. I hate you. It's 90 degrees outside, Rivka, and you're too sweaty. What are some cold thoughts? She's not going to watch this. Uh, that might cool you down. Uh, sticking an ice cold can of LaCroix between my, my, can I say tits? Yeah, you can say tits. Tits. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, cool. Oh, just an, I mean, what flavor LaCroix? Amplemousse. Correct answer. Well done. Murray. <laughs> Old thoughts. Um, an ice pack on your taint. It's cold. It's cold. Um, 90 degrees outside, Rivka. You're too sweaty. What are some th cold thoughts that might cool you down? My dad never showed up to any of my guitar recitals when I was a kid. Yeah, but what are some cool thoughts that might <laughs> cool you down? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, yeah, well. Uh-oh. <laughs> the uh-oh noise. So I'll ask you this. I... I took many instruments and had many recitals uh, as a child. And the thought of my father not being there never made me cold. It made me annoyed. Why did it make you cold? Because um, he worked out in the outdoors as a construction worker outside. And I was just thinking of my cold, cold dad just shivering his little hiney off in the Chicago winters outside while I was on stage playing my classical guitar. And it gave me the shivers. 
Katie, will you buy this bullshit? Uh, I think we've I think we've taken too torturous a path away from cold and temperature. So I mean, she did say that her dad was chilly. Yeah. I'm still. I'm a no. I'm a no. You're gonna <laughs> you're gonna be a no. Be a no. Okay. This is gonna be the most cost-effective episode of Pop Off yet. Murray. <laughs> yes. You can win the whole game with this final question. Okay. It's 90 degrees outside. You're too mm -hmm. sweaty. Mm -hmm. What's one final cold thought that might cool you down? Thinking about the Japanese Alps with the Japanese macaque monkeys hanging out in the snow, not getting in the hot springs. But staying like, in the snow. Intentionally avoiding the beautiful Intentionally hot avoiding the hot springs. Even though they are forced up into the Alps due to deforestation um, to stay warm. Right. But they stay in the snow just to stay cool. And it's freezing. You've you ever seen them? They're whiskers. They got ice on them. They're, they're shivering. They're hugging each other. I mean, they're going to die. They're so cold. Shit. 80? Billy monkeys? Yeah, I mean, that sounds... Pretty cold. Thank you, Katie. I would go with it. Well, congratulations, Murray. I apologize, Rivka, but you have been popped off. That's the wrong noise, but that's okay because Murray's our big winner. Murray, we're gonna put four dollars and seventy-five cents into at least your. I hope it was. I hope it was fun. Uh, we have a little bit of time. Uh, <laughs> so. Because he played the game. Let's so talk about Christian's daughter again. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do as a fun little bonus. First, I'm gonna give a spiel. Congratulations, Murray. Uh, oh, you. you are our big winner for today. You've got uh, you. you've got four dollars and seventy five cents in the bank, and we are going to go to the pressure cooker round. This round will potentially give you up to fifty dollars in whole cold hard cash, and we will do so. After this, cool. Um, let's give the people what they want. I'm going to bring everyone back in for I because I I wrote four. I wrote uh, we have a <laughs> whole game of questions here, and I figure we're only going to have you all here once unless I can rope you into next month too. But uh, we'll see what happens. Let's just go. Let, we'll just keep going down the line uh, just for funsies and do one final round because I think it'll be fun. Do I still uh, get the winner plaque? You still get the winner plaque. We'll do okay, your bonus round. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We have a we have a good bonus round. Uh, I think it'll be very profitable. It'll be fun. But first, let's play one final round, just for fun. Uh, Violet, we'll start with you. Here's the question. Now I'm going to put everyone because this is the fun part. I'm going to put everyone on a. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to put everyone on a 15 second timer. Ooh. So you have to submit an answer within 15 seconds or mm -hmm. maybe not because my phone does not want me to do anything. Okay. And Corey cannot count to 15. Little I cannot <laughs> count to 15. No, no. I choose not to count to 15. Mm, yes. I'm better than that. Uh. All right. So I've got a timer here. Violet, we'll start with you. Name something that can shake. An abusive parent. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little side jackpot for this. So, do we know how Christian's uh, daughter died? <laughs> are you all well, okay? Chris <laughs> no, they're stand-up comedians. Of course, they're not okay. Uh, Christian, name something that can shake. Um, whoever, uh, the bonbon of whoever Ricky Martin was singing to. Correct. Well done, Murray. Uh, a martini uh, cooler. Yep, correct. Rivka. Uh, shake weight. Correct. Mm. Violet. A roller coaster from the movie Final Destination. Oh, it shakes a whole whole lot. You're right. Uh, Christian. Um, a a uh, uh, a a a nervous person. 
<laughs> I mean, some, right. sometimes, sometimes you just go for the correct answer. Yep. Yes, a nervous yes. person is correct. Murray. Um, Northridge, California, 1994. You're probably correct. Wow. Uh, I mean, even in a microcosm kind of way. You're probably right. I mean, I'm uh, sure it shook whatever year I mentioned <laughs> at one point. Yeah, that's that's yeah, exactly. I'm I'm okay. giving you the spread. Uh, right. Rivka, Miley Cyrus's faith in the song "The Climb." She says, "My faith is shaking." <laughs> oh. Absolutely correct. And and do we, Brian? Do we have to pay royalties for that? He'll let me know in the chat. No, uh, no. Sweet, cool. Even though it was pitch perfect. Yeah. Oh my God. Thank you. All right. Uh, that is correct. Violet? Uh, the tail end of a rattlesnake with a neurological condition. <laughs> correct. <laughs> Christian? Uh, one of those uh, hardware store paint mixer. Oh, dudes. yeah. That is correct. Murray? Um, your booty. Uh, every so often, that is correct. Rivka? My rickety, crickety old bike. Correct. They called them bone shakers back in the day. Violet. Uh, the rattle of an adult baby. Her, mm. uh, you got you, an adult baby? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a thing. It's hey, a thing. don't kink shame. I'm, I'm not kink shaming. I'm kink asking why. Um, <laughs> nope. Have the uh, I'm not. To shake it harder. Ew. All right. Correct. Christian. A, uh, a spaceship re-entering the atmosphere. That is correct. Murray? Um, a white mouse when you drop them in the tank of your pet snake. Mm. Correct. Rivka? The senora in that one Harry <laughs> Belafonte song. That is correct. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Technically, she shake shakes, but we'll... <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll definitely I'll de that's double shakes. I might give double points. Violet. That thing shaped like a Hawaiian woman that people put on the dashboard of their car. <laughs> oh. Katie, does that thing shake or does it sway? I it shakes. You're splitting hairs. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, I'll allow for that. Uh Christian. Um uh, uh, um, like '60s dancers, like uh, you from Baltimore, like in Hairspray, like uh, so, I don't know, you know, like sure. when they're doing their frugging and frigging and stuff. Fine, <laughs> correct, Murray. <laughs> oh, mine's similar. The oh. one dancer in. The thriller video where he pop locks and then shakes. Oh, Katie, do you want to give two signature you know what I'm talking about, dancers? Christian? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would say those are distinct enough. Fine, Mine was hip hop no, and, and pop and locking. No more dancing. Okay. I'm putting a moratorium on dancing. Rivka. My uncle James's hands, he's got that thing that, that makes <laughs> your hands kind of Parkinson's. Do this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. Some jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the shimmy shakes. Uh, sure. Fine. Violet. A baby gazelle and the jaws of a crocodile. Jesus oh. fucking shit. Correct. <laughs> Christian. <laughs> uh, the ground right before the uh the the creature emerges, like at the end of Cabin in the Woods. Like when oh. the, the titan oh, under yeah, the ground yeah. like burst mm. through the ground. It did shake. Murray it did shake. That. Correct. Uh, Murray. God damn it, Finnegan. You and I are on the same wavelength today. <laughs> 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 the, the cup of water in the car on the Jurassic mm. Park ride when the T-Rex is coming. Oh. Did, did the cup of water shake or did the water just ripple? It, it has to shake to cause a shaking. ripple. Sorry, can I ask a question? What's water? <laughs> it's, it's a specific water that's grown in Baltimore. Yeah, it's in Philadelphia. Sometimes we open up a tap and uh, we expect it to be beer or cheese, 
Uh, but sometimes this white shit comes out of it. Or not white, it's clear. I guess, I don't know if you have bad you pipes, sometimes it's white. you want to talk about your water being white? Because that's very bad. Yeah, no. We, <laughs> our pipes in Philadelphia, every pipe is made out of limestone. It's great. Uh, <laughs> so then what you do is you, you take a cup and you put it under the faucet. And uh, it spits out with water. And then you put some cherry shit in it and you got water ice. And then you throw that water ice at Santa Claus. All right. Oh my gosh, uh, so Baltimore. Yeah. So yeah, Katie Katie is fine with with all of this. So how do I make this music stop? Is it just, nope. Is it just this? Sure. All right, cool. Um, Christian, name something uh, that, name something, Sam, something that someone can shake. My hands the first time I got past second base. <laughs> cool. Correct answer. That was weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Look at congratulations. I'm proud of you. Well done, sir. Uh Murray. Me when Christian got to second base with me. <laughs> I said past oh. second base. <laughs> I enjoyed third base. Second base was a little nerve wracking. <laughs> oh, okay, well then that's all fine then. <laughs> Rivka. Me in the closet watching Christian and Murray going past second base. I was just so excited for them. I was just all shaken. Oh, that's so fun. Congratulations. Uh, everyone, we've how many did we just go through? Adding that one. That's four, eight, 12, 16. To, yeah, we went through 20 answers. So uh, I'm going to put a mini championship on the line for everyone with one final question. So here's what's going to happen. Everyone has done very well so far, and I'm going to I'm going to calculate whatever happened here and uh however many answers we got right. I think it's 4 8 12 16. Uh there's about $5 in the bank. This will be a $5 bonus. Um everyone's going to submit one final answer only to me using the Zoom uh private message feature. So you're going to give me one final answer to the question, name something that someone can shake. I will read the answers anonymously to Katie, and whoever gives the best answer will be the pop off filling some time mini champion. So, so go ahead. That someone can shake. The the prompt is name something that someone can shake. Wait, name something. Yeah, name something. I don't even understand it. Name something that someone can shake. I'm gonna put 30 seconds on the clock. Please submit your answers to me privately now. And I'm gonna play that noise one more time. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'll do it in post. 20 seconds remaining. I have one answer in. I have two answers in. There's 15 seconds remaining. Murray is just trying to figure out how to pull up the chat in the Zoom still. This isn't my space? It, it, it could be if you go to spacehey.com slash Corey. Friend me now. <laughs> they better be paying you. <laughs> they're, they're really not. I'm trying to get I verified. My answer? No, it's locked in. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, Murray, we're... we're uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Hard to type with two fingers. I understand. It's not funny. Uh, okay. Okay. Here are... Katie, I'm going to shuffle up the answers that were given. You're going to pick who you think is the best. Uh, answer number one, a noisemaker at a circus. Answer number two, my fist at the kids who are on my lawn. <laughs> number three, one's sense of faith in humanity. And number four, milk. What? <laughs> what a range. Um, there's really a diverse set of answers. I'm going to have to go with uh, sense in, uh, faith in humanity. Congratulations to the winner of the tiny little pop-off, which I'll probably put on YouTube as an extra. Uh, congratulations to Christian Finnegan. Well done. Intercontinental champion, baby. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Look, you'll always get me with a good, you know, depression about the state of the world joke <laughs> always uh i was i mean milk got me 
I, I was I was gunning for milk. It's You're welcome. Gunning. Is somebody a Cure fan? Is that what that's from? My milkshake brings all the boys together. That's what I was thinking of, Violet, oh, with the, mil- right. the milkshake yeah. that brings all the I'm boys I'm a little older. I was thinking of the cure. Shake, shake, <laughs> shake. Take my hand. Shake, shake, I'm shaking shake, like shake. milk. There you go. Oh, yeah. Let's go to Robert, Robert Smith. That, yeah. Yeah. That's allowed. I'll allow it. Um, yeah, I wanted to change my answer to the brain of a proud boy inside of a regular sized skull. Oh. <laughs> that would have won i think it would have you know the yeah. only thing that i like more than depression humor is humor that makes fun of incels true well congratulations christian for winning wow. uh the little mini pop-off uh that'll be fun to cut together on youtube and uh you'll get a little bonus in your way but however we have to do our final bonus round and that's going to be with Murray. Murray, are you ready for the pressure cooker round? I am, sir. I am. Thank you. Fantastic. Uh, first things first, I'm going to put the view back to us. Uh, can I do two? I think I can do two. One and two. So I think the two of us are now on the screen. And okay. someone, probably Brian, can tell me if I did it right in the chat. Or he can just say it out loud. I don't care. Um, so how this is going to work is as follows. First things first, fancy graphics. Whoa. Mm. All right. This is the pressure cooker round. In the pressure cooker round, I have here a question along with 10 predetermined answers. Uh, I'm going to give you 60 seconds after I say go to try to list all of the things that are on this card. We're playing, okay. we're doing a little Karnak kind of here a little bit. Okay. Um, if, for each correct response you give, we'll put a dollar in the bank. Uh, if you can get all 10, and it's, it, it only I am showing on YouTube. That's no good. So view, what if I do this and then just spotlight us too? Spotlight for everyone? Uh, sure. You and shouldn't. And then I can. Yeah. Add yourself to spotlight. Uh, I didn't realize how bad ah. my hair uh. It's a new thing. There you go. Are we are we good now? Um, let it catch up here. Or sure. no one has anything to do Saturday night. <laughs> we can wait. We can wait for some technical requirements. I just poured another beer, so I'm good. Oh, excellent! Yeah, I should probably crack open this second hard seltzer. It's only a hundred calories, and it doesn't taste like anything. We're almost there. We're fun, almost fun pro on. tip: if you have one of these shitty hard seltzers and you want more flavor into it, get those little flavor enhancer syrup things that they sell. Just shove it right in. And don't do that for your bong water. It doesn't do anything. Um, <laughs> we good, Brian? Hold on, almost there. Oh, no, it's only showing... You know what? Oh, I what? had this problem the other night. It's it's showing who is ever speaking for some damn reason. That's... So, so it, what if I get, change it to gallery view and then my, spotlight us too? If everybody else turns off their cameras and you go to gallery and spotlight you too, it'll work. Turn off right, everyone else. I, yes, please. If you could turn off your cameras, except for me and Mary. All right, whatever. This is the first time we tried this. Good time to try it, you know, live. Anyway, Mary, it's just you and me now. Okay, Here right. is the pressure cooker round. 60 seconds on the clock. Each answer will give you some money. If you can get all 10 in 60 seconds, you will get uh, $50 on top of your 475. So 5475 potential jackpot here. He sits up. He's excited. All right. I'm going to sit up too with my very loud shirt. All right. Cool. Um, I'm going to read the question. Okay. And then I'll say go. And then just give me a, a stream of consciousness. Just whatever comes into your mind that fits the category. Just say it. If you say it and it's on my card here, you'll get some points. All right. Let me get my game on here. All right. And I'm also going to do this. And I'm also going to, yeah, that should be fine. Okay. There are 60 seconds on the clock. When I say go, Murray, I'd like you to name 10 types of cards. 10 types of cards. C-A-R-D-S. Okay. Cards. Okay. All right, 60 seconds are on the clock for $50 on your marks. I'm finding my mouse. There we are. On your marks, get set, go. Greeting, playing, 
title. Only got one of those. Um, uh, board, cardboard, uh, 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 sympathy cards, um, birthday cards, uh, wedding cards, Christmas cards, um, card sharks, card Linda Cardinelli. Uh, 30 seconds. Uh, Kardashian, a, a Kardashian card. Um, card. Cards on top of cards. Card with a, a blood stain on it. Um, uh, a car, card that has uh, on the side of a blimp. They put the title on there. Um, a card. That, how many fucking cards are there? A card. There's like four. Uh, card that. Uh, a business card. Is up. God damn it. Ooh, you got business card after time had expired. Ah. So I can't give that to you. Uh, you got three, right? Um, let's see. You got a uh, playing card. That was correct. Um, you also got Christmas card and you got birthday card. Okay. So that's $3 in the bank. Here are the other seven cards you could have had. Uh, you said business card, but you were a little late. Uh, then we have Uno. You're familiar with the game Uno. Oh, that's a playing card. It is a specific type of playing card, but it's a Nuno card. Oh, you know uh, what? I shot myself in the foot going going vague. I should have been more specific. You really should have, because we also have a Monopoly chance card. Also a very nice card. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we also have place cards. Place cards oh, are good. Right, right, right. Uh, credit cards are very nice. Oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, postcards. Uh, sure. Law art. And yeah. finally... Uh, you are, yeah, we had high hopes with Kardashian card. That was almost there. Uh, but Murray, I'm, I'm really surprised you did not get V card. Mm -hmm. V card. It's your ability to say that you have, uh, either penetrated or have been penetrated. Um, this is not tarot card erasure. I'm not saying these are the only 10. Everyone put their video up so I can look you in the fucking eyes. Hold uh, on, what's a V this card? Is not... What's backpack? Virginity. <laughs> Yeah, it's a slang term for vir your virginity. That you've if turned you in give your v someone, card. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Or you gave someone your V card. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got you. All right. Yeah. I know it wasn't in Love American style, but that is a, absolutely a thing that uh, people have said at some point. Um, it's not tarot card erasure, Rivka. Uh, <laughs> no, it is. You literally just are saying, like, tarot cards don't exist. These are I the only not... 10 cards. I am not <laughs> saying these are the only. 10 cards this says name it says name 10 types of them i am i quality love american style reference no it wasn't at no point is any love american style reference quality thank you brian how dare you these, sir so v card these... which is a social construct was on the list but tarot card was not hey look this is the list this is i'm all sorry I but this i Cannot help but think this just feels homophobic. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. In the first draft of this, we def I definitely was like, should I put race card in? No, I can't put oh. race card in. That would be bad. <laughs> and yet here I am getting yelled at for missing tarot card. Well, I played what? the gay card. She, yeah. Fair enough. There's, see, there's so many cards you could have said, Murray, but you went with Kardashian card. Whatever. There are one. so many offensive-ish cards that you could have thought of. <laughs> Former White House Chief of Staff Andy Card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, I'm yep. dorky enough that I was like, how is he not getting Magic Card or Pokemon? Oh, oh Magic yeah. Card. Yeah. But they weren't even on the list. So. Because uh, really, truly, I was able this is to Pokemon give away card. my V Card and not spend some of my time playing these games. Hey, yeah, hey, actually, hey. thank you for saying Linda Cardellini, though. That like that yeah. gave me a little smile. Oh, you're welcome. That was nice. <laughs> Thank you. And also, Rivka, of course, not, of course. Not Corey. You're walking away with $7.75. <laughs> this is more money than you've made on your last Zoom gigs. And that and was for Christian's OnlyFans, so shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also just like the delightfully human strategy of when you can't think of something, you just use it to describe yeah, just, itself. The yeah. Card cards. The card cards. <laughs> yes. Use your space, right? Improv people, use your space. <laughs> exactly. Um, well, let's do this first and foremost. Uh, let's say goodbye because it is about time to say goodbye. So first we will start uh, We'll start with Christian. Christian, do you have anything you want to let people know now that you have a captive audience? 
Uh, well, I guess I should pretend to be proactive about my uh, dwindling career. Uh, nice. I have um, four albums out on iTunes and things like that, and a couple of specials. And I have a new special slash album that I recorded outside in front of 28 people a few months ago that it's called Show Your Work. And uh, that will be coming out hopefully sometime in early 2021. Not exactly sure when yet, but uh, I'm on ye old Twitter machine at Christ Finnegan. And uh, that's probably the best way to, I haven't updated my website in years. Don't bother going there. Um, it's fine. We won't. But yeah, Who but wherever you anyway? find music and stuff, you can find my standup. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Christian. Thank you for being Thanks here. For having me. And we're going to edit this part out. Congratulations on winning the little mini tournament. Five dollars will be going into your Venmo account. What were you going? To, what are you going to use the money for? I think I'm putting a down payment on a house. Well, that sounds nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, good luck for that. A very um, house. Yeah. I I'd like to put a down payment on this doorknob, please. <laughs> uh, just the screws. Thank you. Um, let's go to Violet. Violet, do we? What? What? Hi. How are you? see you can find me at on twitter at violet silver uh you can find me on facebook at violet gray g-r-a-y and violet gray is you can do a search for my name and see my stand up on youtube excellent thank you so much um let's see we'll go to rivka rivka hi where can people find you hi can we just like can we just talk for the next like half hour just about whatever we want? Because you're endlessly fascinating. Oh my god! Thank you. No I problem. Love it. Also, Katie, Katie would like to be your best friend. She texted me. <gasps> Katie, she didn't even let's put it in the chat. It. I love yes. friends. Oh. Christian and Violet and I feel like shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to no, like seriously, I want to be friends with all of you. Like not, and I'm not just saying that, like because we all just like had this like amazing bond together for the last hour and a half, like. Right? I actually like I love you guys. I've always wanted a circle. Uh, okay, of we're clearly all going insane. With <laughs> yeah. I I think I think what we should all do is like the year anniversary of this, we should all go to a park with all of the peanut butter and jelly we can find and just Girl fucking cards. celebrate. Yeah, and just bring all the cards we can find. Let's go to it's Christian's amazing. daughter's grave instead. <laughs> Oh, that sounds that's a good idea. Like, like I remember where that is. <laughs> uh, Rivka, where can we where can people find you? Um on Instagram and TikTok at Rivka.reyes. It's R-I-V-K-A-H dot R-E-Y-E-S. Awesome. Cool. And the man of the hour going home with seven dollars and seventy-five cents. Is this the most profitable YouTube game show you've been on, Murray? Um, not only is it the most probably, it's probably the most money I've made since this pandemic hit. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I could help. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and thank you to my loyal subscribers on Patreon who have decided to give $7 and 75 cents to Murray Valeriano. Thank uh, you, Murray, you. where can people, where can people find you? Uh, at Murray V on Twitter, uh, Murray V comedy on Instagram. Uh, my album rusty cow is all over digital platforms and all over the world so and sirius xm i torrented it i didn't want to give you any more money so no i'm kidding it <laughs> it didn't it didn't show up on pirate bay I, I tried um so i guess i'll have to buy it <laughs> uh well, and I'm katie insulted by that i mean i liked it so much that i didn't want to deal with paying for it you know <laughs> because paying oh, for okay. things <laughs> paying for things is the last resort always like I'll take it. If, I'll, I get if you want to, if you want to get your drains fixed at home, like you do everything and then you pay for a plumber. <laughs> I did everything to get your stand up for free, so now I'm going to try to pay for it. I should have just asked. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Katie, uh, you do a whole lot of fucking shit, man. Yeah, like, I guess. What what um, what do you yeah, do? I'm on Twitter at K and Over Me. Um, though right now it's it's just a lot of retweeting doom and gloom perfect um, and yeah i co-host teach me something good podcast with Corey. i'm on and off high wire though i'm gonna be a hermit the next few months uh trying to get a doctorate so Ooh, we do dr katie thing. over me 
uh, and then maybe I'll do things again. Uh, but if you want to see Doom and Gloom retweeted, hey. uh, my Twitter is that's where it's at. <laughs> if once you get your doctorate, will you be too good for this? No. Have you? There. People with PhDs are, I, you know, I'd rather hang out with comedians all day long. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, uh, let me see if I can hit the right button to make the music play. Uh, chances are no. Let's see. It's this button. Ah, it did it. Anyway, I'm going to bring everyone back up, and we're going to do that thing that improv people do, and it's just make movements. Marie's just going to look pensive. Uh, my name is Corey Anotato. This has been Pop Off. Good night. Oh, my God. Um... Do I have to, Brian, do I have to stop yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I don't have control anymore. <laughs> God, all right. Well, I'm going to take this moment to say everything I've always wanted to say. So first things first, Dad, I hate you. You're the worst part. Oh, end it now. Okay, thank you. No, I'm kidding. I don't. <laughs> I don't care. Um,